Hi guys, welcome back once again to read with me, LG. I have another Berenstain Bears because if you've watched any of my videos at this point, you know I'm a fan. So we have another Berenstain Bear book today. Hope you guys enjoy those. This one is the Berenstain Bears and the Bad Dream. So we're going to read about the siblings and their bad dreams, okay? Um, so, per the usual, the Berenstein Bear books are all written by the Berenstein family in some form or another. So, this one is written by Stan and Jan Berenstein. So, bad dream. All right. <laughs> this is a cute, cute title page, so I'll show you. I don't always show the title pages, but this shows Brother and Sister Bear jumping into Mama and Papa Bear's bed because... The bad dream is bothering them. So let's see what's going on. Brother Bear was just crazy about space grizzlies. Space grizzlies were little toy action figures that you could collect. Sister Bear didn't like them much. She thought they were very dumb and a little scary. Mama Bear didn't mind them, except when Brother Bear brought them to the table, or left them on the stairs. Papa Bear didn't care about them one way or another. So this is Brother Bear and his space grizzlies, so these little action figures. He loves them. Sister Bear says they're, they're dumb, but she really actually thinks they're scary. And then Mama Bear does not like when they're on the table or the stairs. And then Papa Bear doesn't, he doesn't have an opinion. He says, meh, doesn't care. But Brother Bear, but Brother cared about them a lot. He cared about them so much that he did chores for the neighbors to make extra money so he could buy more. He had quite a few, but the store had more. A lot more. He was saving up to buy Sleezo's Cloud Castle. Sleezo was the evilest of all the space grizzlies. And the wicked-looking Cloud Castle was where he planned all of his evil deeds. So, this is Brother Bear. See, he's trying to earn extra money, okay? So, he's helping with the groceries, helping mow the lawn, walking some animals. His sign says, dog walking, 10 cents per dog. And there he is, looking at all, dreaming of all the different ones he's going to buy, the space grizzlies. When Brother had saved enough money, he went along on a shopping trip to the Bear Country Mall and made his purchase. The Cloud Castle came in a big box, and he could hardly wait to get home to play with it. But as he was getting into the car, he saw something that was even more exciting than the Cloud Castle. It was a movie poster. It said, Coming Soon, Spray Space Grizzlies, the movie. So here he is with his big box. So he got to pick out his big toy that he purchased. But then he sees, oh, there's a movie coming. A Space Grizzlies movie, he cried. It looks great. I can't wait to see it. I can, said sister. Looks scary to me. May I see it when it comes out, Mama? Asked brother. May I, may I, please? Hmm, said Mama. We'll see when the time comes. When they got home, Brother opened his new cloud castle, got out all his space grizzlies, and was all set to play the biggest space grizzly game ever. But he had nobody to play with. Nobody, that is, except sister. So here he is asking if he can go play the movie, and then this is him getting his new castle out and all his toys out, and then he realizes, oh, I want someone to play with. Want to play Space Grizzly, sis? He asked. No way, she said. Oh, come on, he said. I'll play any game you want if you'll play Space Grizzlies with me. Any three games, she said, driving a hard bargain. Which three, he said warily. Paper dolls, jacks, and beanbags, she answered. Paper dolls, jacks, and beanbags, he answered. 
give me a break. Take it or leave it, she said. He took it. And after some lively sessions of paper dolls, jacks, and bean bags, it was time for... So here they are. She's bargaining. She knows. She knows he wants her to play badly. So she got three games out of the deal. Any wise sister makes a bargain like that. But so this is game number one, paper dolls, then jacks, then bean bag toss. So then he knows it's time for Space Grizzlies. That's right. Space Grizzlies. I am Sleezo Eagle, evil king of the universe, roared brother, calling all spaceships. Seek and destroy the planet. Magogo. Magongo. Home of my sworn enemy. Hero the Magnificent. Oh, no, you didn't, sister shouted back. I am Hero the Magnificent. One touch from my sleep wand and your evil ways will be ended. They played until Mama called them for dinner. So here they are. They look like they're having a good time, right? Hmm. Brother, said Mama, how many times must I tell you no space grizzlies on the table? Papa was taking a peek at the Bear Country News. Brother, he said, that movie of yours starts tomorrow. May I see it, Mama, please? Asked Brother. I don't know why not, she said. We haven't been to the movies in a while. I know why not, said Sister, because it's scary. That's no problem, said Papa. There are lots of movies to choose from. He was right. The Bear Country Theater was, re was really four movie houses in one. And there were all there were usually four different movies playing. That looks good, said Mama. The Magic Toe Shoes. It's a musical about a ballerina. So here they are. Talking about the movie situation. So they're looking what else is playing. Trying to figure it out. So when they got to the movies the next evening, Mama, Papa, and Sister got in line for the Magic Toe Shoes. And Brother joined a bunch of his friends in line for Space Grizzlies. The magic toe shoes told the story of a young bear who wanted to be a ballerina, but every time she tried to dance on her toes, she wiggled and wobbled. The old ballet master took pity on her and gave her a, ma a pair of magic toe shoes, which cured her wiggles and wobbles. But on the night of the big ballet, she left her magic toe shoes on the bus. Without them, she was all wiggles and wobbles again. That's when the ballet master told her they weren't magic at all. They were just ordinary toe shoes. The wobbly ballerina got her confidence back and danced beautifully. So here are, here's the two different lines. So there's sister, papa, and mama. They're going to the magic toe shoes. There's brother going with his buddies to go see space grizzlies. So here's the magic ballerina, magic toe shoes and the ballerina. She's dancing beautifully at the end. Nice story. The space grizzly movie was about Space Grizzlies, of course. The great, monstrous, big screen ones who zapped and zoomed through space until that final intergalactic shootout. It was very exciting and not a little scary. So it's a big battle. So that's pretty intense, right? It was dark when the bear family got home. So it was off to bed for the cubs. It was already late for sister, and she went right to sleep. But brother was so excited by the movie that he lay awake for quite a while. He was just about to doze off when sister woke up screaming. Help! She screamed. They're after me! Who's after you? asked brother. Space Grizzlies! She wailed. Thousands of them! Calm down, silly head. It's only a dream, he said. But sister leaped out of bed and ran into mom and papa's room. That little silly that little silly the little silly brother thought imagine being afraid of a dopey dream then he yawned turned over and went to sleep so here's all that so they're in bed right they're in their bunk beds sister gets scared oh my goodness <gasps> wakes up they're chasing her she really thinks the space grizzlies are out to get her so she runs to mom and papa's room brother bear he said that little sister Pfft. She's so silly. He goes to bed. So there's Brother Bear. Mama and Papa tried to calm Sister. They took her into their bed and they hugged her. Tell us about your dream, said Mama. 
Dream, sister said. Yes, said Papa, you must have had a nightmare. That's the word for a bad dream. But it was so real, she said, calming down a bit. That's how it is with dreams. He said, it's as if they're really happening. They're not. They're just in your mind. Can you tell us about your dream, said Mama. So here they are, trying to comfort her, and they're telling her, it's okay, it was scary, but it's not real. It was awful, sister said. I was a ballet star dancing on my toes. And then the stage turned into a giant beanbag board. And the space grizzlies came out of the beanbag holes and chased me. And I fell down one of the holes. I kept falling and falling. And then I woke up. It was awful. She wailed again and buried her face into Mama's nightgown. I'm sure it was, sweetie, said Mama. But it was also very interesting. Interesting? Said sister in a puzzled voice. So here's what she described, right? Oh, yes, said Mama. You see, even though you go to sleep, your mind keeps right on thinking. But it doesn't think in a sensible way. It thinks all the things you were thinking or were, you, or were nervous about during the day and puts them together like a jung, jumbled up jigsaw puzzle, mixed up jigsaw puzzle. You mean like the ballet dancer from the movie? said sister. Sure, said Papa. And the beanbag board from playing beanbags with brother, she added. And the space grizzlies, began Mama. Were from playing space, space grizzlies with brother and from seeing the movie poster, sister said. Exactly, said Papa. Say, that is interesting, she said. That's when they heard brother. So here she is making sense of dreams because she had never really understood what dreams and nightmares were and then they heard brother screaming help he screamed they're after me they're after me then he raced into the room jumped onto the bed and hid his face in papa's pajamas calm down son said papa it was just a bad dream a nightmare added sister that's another word for a bad dream can you tell us about it? said Mama. Well, I was eating dinner, and the food turned into space grizzlies, gigantic ones, and they chased me, and I turned into a paper doll, and my clothes were flying off. It was awful. You're awake now, dear, said Mama. Everything's going to be all right. But Mama, he said, it was so real. So here's his dream. So there's space grizzlies, and here he is being a paper doll, and his paper clothes are falling off. And then he's running into Mama and Papa's room. Of course it was, said Sister. That's the way all dreams are. Let me explain it to you. And she did. So here's Sister explaining to Brother Bear how dreams and nightmares work. And why it felt so real. And what it was all about. And that's the end of the story. So... Hopefully that helps explain to you what bad dreams or nightmares look like sometimes. And even though they're very scary, they're not real. And we can find comfort in knowing that they're, it's our brain thinking about things. So it's working through things even when we're sleeping. And oftentimes we don't even know that our brain is still thinking when we're sleeping. But sometimes it's hard to shut off and hard for us to fall asleep. And sometimes when we're asleep, we have dreams or nightmares. Good dreams, bad dreams, nightmares, right? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that one. I always love the Berenstain Bears. And next time, we'll see you next time for a new book. Don't know which one yet, but we'll find out. Thanks for joining me. Read with me, LG.